Hello YouTube, this is Jess here from Stanley APK, so welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to do binarization uh, using the Leptonica library. As you recall, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to display an image. Uh, I am going now to not only display an image, but I'm going to take that image and I'm going to apply some of the binarized uh, techniques, binarization techniques that Leptonica has come up with. It's a, it's a very good algorithm. And before I do that, let me uh, explain a little bit what, why we do, why, why is uh, binarization so important? And when you take a color image, uh, a lot of times you need to do a pre-processing before you do, you know, before you use it for object character recognition and all the things. So part of this pre-processing, it might include, um, you know, changing a color image into a grayscale image first and then into a binary image because it is a lot easier to to for example uh, de-skew it you know to orient it better so it can be recognized by whatever algorithm that you're using for us for the object character recognition so binarization is a, an essential part of it and also it helps you to do certain other things, for, for example, segmentation and so on. Um, this is a, a nice, uh, you know, website that it shows you techniques and how using the adaptive threshold on an image and different types of uh, of uh, threshold. This. Uh, you can either use the fix or the adaptive threshold, but uh, we probably will do that in another tutorial. Let's do binary section. So the first thing you need to do is uh, get a script, a binary section. Let me explain to you this code. And whoops, you don't want that. That's the binary. And this is a like always we include the all headers um i have it like i showed you in the last tutorial i have it in, inside this directory right there and uh, it's just the header file i i doing you know for most of them it needs to be in it and in this um let me show you again this is the the file the the, uh, the, the what they're doing how they're doing it and as you can see, it's very similar to the one that I showed you uh, in the last tutorial. Is uh, let me make this bigger here. Uh, it's sticking two arguments, just like the other one. It's creating the files, the dimensions. Um, the, here, it's using. It's saving, it's creating five images. It's gonna create one there, it's gonna create two there. And uh, PNG, I'm using PNG because they're using here PNG. They have an if, uh, if a PNG. So I'm just gonna make it easier because I tried with a GIF and it didn't do too well. So I'm just gonna stick, I have stuck to PNGs, even though I used a JPEG before, not only with this one. But it worked. Uh, but it's going to let me explain here. It's going to let me open Dan Blomberg's image here. He's using five different types of binarization. As he explains it here on this uh, the one the method one is using local background followed by global threshold. The other one is local background, followed by Otsu. Uh, the Otsu is a, is a very powerful algorithm that is used, OpenCV uses it also. Um, I have made, done tutorials uh, with, with the Otsu, using Otsu. Uh, the third one is using local, brown, local background normalization and using two different types of thresholds. And he explains it here, and also using Otsu. And the fourth one is the background normalization, followed by Salbola binarization. And the fifth one is um, 
contrast normalization followed by background normalization and thresholding. So I will show you what they all look like. Let's, uh, and as you can see here, this is what he's doing here. He's uh, doing, you know, just method one with the background normalization with global threshold. Method two, and saving a the binary, uh, the binarization image there, and, and he explains it. I mean, it's very, it's a very nice, uh, you know, it's very he, good comments explaining to you what is happening. So let's just now run the program. And like you, if you remember, I made a nice uh, make file to make things simple. And in that make file, oh, that's all it, you need to do. Just the leptonica for the C flags and for the libraries. And that's, those, you only need those two lines. I'm trying to make it simple. And now we can just, this is, I'm going to be using this image right here. It's this one right there. Okay, so let's make the binary now. Make uh, binarize, binarize set. And it's up today because I already have one there made. So now we're going to run it with the checky image. Checky, what is it? Checky 512 PNG. And as you can see, it created all of them. And here you have method one, method two, method three, method four, and method five. And it's, it gives examples for each one and using the different techniques. And this one, trying to put them in order here. And there you go. Okay. And that's how you do a uh, binarization with uh, using leptonica. It's, it, it's, uh, it's a nice uh, technique in that you can become very handy in many, many applications. This is the end of this tutorial. If you, click, if you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Thanks for watching.